Does this period piece deliver on its relevant story? Let's find out. Hello Fanatics, I'm Dylan Phillips and this is the Film Fanatic Review bringing you Colette, starring Kira Knightley, Eleanor Tomlinson, and Dominic West. First we'll tell you what the movie is about, and our initial thoughts, then we'll move on to our spoiler free likes and dislikes. We'll finish up with some spoiler heavy thoughts on this film, and our final word. Colette follows the story of a woman who is pushed to write novels for her husband under his name, but upon their success fights for what is rightfully hers. Overall, I was a bit disappointed by this film. It is a generic period piece with no real substance. For what I liked about this film, let's start off with the performances. This film is above all a vehicle used to try to nab Keira Knightley the Oscar. Her personable and charismatic performance leads this story in only a way that her commanding presence in a period piece could. This is complemented by a career best showing by Dominic West as her complex and thoroughly flawed husband. This and their relationship helps to elevate the story to a very interesting character study on the dynamic between a couple as perceived love turns to business in an ever-evolving partnership. However, that is about it when it comes to the script's positives. The script fails to add anything new or intriguing to the genre as it's a by-the-book storyline that kind of has some intrigue at the beginning, but all of a sudden falls into every single genre cliche. And the biggest issue with this script is its terribly unexplored themes. This is a film that should have made an impact with a story that echoes the sentiments of the Me Too movement, but it somehow manages to throw its extremely relevant themes on the back burner for more generic storytelling. This issue might have been attributed to the script if not for the subpar and relatively bland direction of Wash Westmoreland. This is seen through a lot of pacing issues throughout the film where the director isn't sure whether or not they should go outside of the typical period piece mold or not. The film lacks any sort of authenticity, pushing it farther away from the unique and relevant story that it has to tell. And that's where I'll end our spoiler-free thoughts on this film. If you want to hear our final word or rating of this film, pause now and click the link in the description, because now it's time for spoilers. No spoilers to talk about for this one, but the best scenes to me were Colette's first performance and when Colette confronts Willie. So with the thoughts heard, here's our final word. Colette is a cookie cutter period piece that falls flat as it fails to hit on the importance and relevance of this biography. While the charismatic lead performances and character relationships help to elevate the film's story, the narrative finds itself dealing with terrible pacing issues, unexplored themes, and an overall generic feeling, void of any authenticity, to make this woman and her life really stand out. This film is the standard award season drama, with the typical give me the Oscar speech at the end, that fills our quota for Keira Knightley period pieces over the next couple years. So I'm gonna give Colette a six and a half. Thanks everyone for watching our review. Are you planning on seeing Colette? Or if you've already seen it, do you have something to add? What did you think of the story? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Dylan Phillips and this has been the Film Fanatic Review. If you like this video and you want to see more, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Check out our latest Fanatic 5 video where we discuss the top Anna Kendrick roles. Don't forget to follow us on our social media. And until next time, Fanatics, keep it real.